everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm really excited about this because I love these sticker boxes. Well, I love the idea behind the sticker boxes and having excess of certain stickers, but I can't really say that I love the sticker boxes. So the idea behind them is great. Having choices that you use a lot are great because truthfully, there's some that I do use a lot and I didn't want to have to buy a million of those stickers, but <clears throat> the sticker boxes themselves, I feel like are a bit quirky. So what I'm going to do, what I did, and I kind of regret it, is I cut some of these up and I'm just going to have to make my peace with the fact that I did it with these because there's no going back. And I thought when I, well, I thought when I cut them up that they would be like flat for some reason, but they still curl, which makes sense because they were going to roll. And so I'm just going to have to make my peace with the fact that I did that to them. But the boxes themselves, I'm just struggling with because you can't like, they don't really pull, like this one didn't really pull as well, it gets stuck. And so it's not really pulling as well as like seamlessly, like just to like roll it out. It's just, it's hard. And it looks kind of goofy because my washi didn't stick all the way, it like broke. I don't know if you can see that. Like, like was connected and then it just kind of like broke. So I went to Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> that was, that was step number one. Step number two <laughs> is I found these. And these were in like the wooden section where like the doll, dollhouse dowels. I got wooden pile dowels. And they were actually, I think, 50% off, but they're $2.99 if you bought them regular price. <clears throat> so I'm going to create a new form of holding the sticker boxes on a roll that will be a little bit easier for me to maneuver. So there's several different ways that you could do it. I am actually going to use some burlap string. And I don't exactly, you're, you're on this journey with me, so I don't exactly know how I'm going to tie a knot on it, but I'm thinking I'm just going to wrap it a few times and then kind of tie it around perhaps. And you know, the thing is, is if you have a bunch of excess, great, you can just cut it off. You don't need to worry about like being stingy with it. But yeah, so I'm just going to wrap it and then bring this side over and tie it all right now it's not super like it would slide off if you probably allowed it to so I'm gonna leave my scissors near because once I am done, I'm going to what am I gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to oh I'm gonna have to cut it again. So I'm gonna start with one that I already have open. And just rip that off. And what, I, what also happens with the sticker boxes is they kind of get loose when you just leave them in there. So I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can and then just wrap it. And I'm gonna take a bit of washi tape and just kind of tape it to the bottom. Where's the end of this washi tape? This was a, a like a box washi tape of, I think it was Recollections is what it was that I bought. And it's really pretty, but it's always too big for my planner, so I never use it. <clears throat> all right, so I'm just gonna tape it, just so it doesn't come undone all the time. And I'll probably do that with all of them. And I'm just gonna string it on there. And I might have more than one, I might have more than one box per roll too, I don't, depending on what, what it is. I have one of those three tiered carts and that's probably where I'm gonna hang them on the edge, but you could, 
So I'm using the burlap string, but they also had little, um, they were like little wood ends that you could put on them and that would prohibit something from coming off. So once you actually assembled it, you could just put that on there and then it wouldn't, oh my goodness, this is like not sticky. That's weird. All right, well there, I figured, <laughs> figured that one out. Um, so that was, that's probably ideal if you don't want to hang them and then you could just stick them like that on something. I plan to potentially hang these is why I decided to do the string because then I can assemble the string as I want it. And you know, what's nice about this too is that if you want to buy another sticker box, maybe because you've used, you know, all of your step stickers, but you still have ton, ton of these cardio and strength and you can, you can just whip out the roll that you want and not have to pull them all out and just replace it if you need to. And the thing about the washi tape is it comes off so easily that you don't have to really be concerned that you're going to you don't have to be concerned that you're gonna like rip off stickers or anything like that. Now the only thing I would say is if you need to see, like those other ones that I just did, it's kind of hard to see with the washi what they are, so you have to just kind of be aware of what you're, and you don't have to tighten them. I just think that tightening them is the best way for me because they got kind of loose by just being in there. <clears throat> like I said, I love the idea behind them, and I think even if maybe the top was off altogether, I don't, I just don't know. It just didn't work as, it didn't work as well as I thought that it was going to with that for me. It's also, I feel like, kind of hard to store. The boxes are kind of bulky where the books are flat and you can stack them easier and it's easier to go through them. And so that was another challenge I was having. And this way I can hang them or however I wanted, whatever I wanted. So I'm gonna stop here with this one and I'm just gonna try, kind of. I'm just gonna kind of gauge how long I'd want it to hang. And once I get that, I'm thinking like that. Once I get that amount, I'm going to wrap this around until I feel like it's secure enough. And then I'm going to cut it kind of long so I can tie it. This, this, uh, I already opened it. Well, actually, I take that back. My three-year-old opened it, but uh, I believe it was it was pretty inexpensive too. It was like two ninety-nine or something like that, and so it's not. And I think actually it was fifty percent off too, so it's not super expensive to do, and you can reuse them. It's not that you can't. You could even just do one at a time if you felt like you you wanted to. So I'm gonna cut this end off a little bit, but I'm actually gonna leave that one because it looks a little frayed. And then once you get it done, you can. Hang it. See if you can see that. And just hang it. You could put a little like push pin, hang it on a push pin. You could get, I have a board that I'm thinking about hanging on. Uh, you could hang it on your three tiered cart and just hang it over the corner. And to me, it's a lot easier to pull them like this. However, I did just realize that you want to make sure that you have the ends going the same direction, which I believe that I. Yeah, and not the opposite because I would kind of, I mean, not that it couldn't work still. It's like toilet paper, right? There's like a right and a wrong way to do that. So I am going to do the other boxes. I won't bore you with watching, but I'm going to do, um, this one is, this one's like home life. And that, as you can see, it's got, oops, it's got a, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's kind of like, it's not focusing, but there's the wash ones, checklists, honey-do lists. I need to give those to my honey. 
uh, TV and shopping. And I'm probably gonna do this box and the uh, mom box. Oh, this is the schedule box. I have the mom box too. Probably do this and this mom box on the same one. And then, or I would do the menus, but obviously, like I said, I gotta make my piece with that. And then kind of fit them. Like the wellness one could also, you know, I could squeeze more on here and it could go together. And some of them I might not use exactly like what they are. Like these, these ones right here. The my morning routine I love, because I need that. And then these ones, they're just like checklists, and I don't know that I will use these as much as, because I have so many in all the different sticker books. These probably are not gonna get used very often. So I might not even put these on the ones that I hang, because it's probably not gonna get used very often, and I'm just gonna combine the ones that are, that I really will use a lot. And, do that. So I'm going to do it with the wellness, the home life, the schedule. And I might put these on the schedule too because they kind of go hand in hand even though they were out of the wellness. And the travel. And then I'm going to create a decorative way just to hang them and so they look cute. I can grab them easily and yeah, just whenever I want them. So as soon as I figure out exactly what I'm gonna do with it, I will post a picture on my Instagram for everyone to see, and that way you can get that idea too. But super inexpensive, probably to do all the rolls, you're looking at like three bucks, because everything was 50% off. So, easy to do. I think it's gonna be a lot easier for them to roll. It's not gonna get caught on the thing. Super, super easy and cheap. So I hope you enjoyed this video and please let me know if you think that that's a, a functional way or if you had a better way of doing it. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it too. And if you'd like to see other videos like this, please like and subscribe. Have a blessed day.